really pleased to be here to formally welcome you all on behalf of the international learning community. The international learning community is a collection of representatives from different jurisdictions from around the world who are passionate about trying to find a different way, a better way, a fairer way for people and communities to connect and relate to each other um, more positively in all aspects of their daily lives, be that in formal or informal settings. We're interested in building and sustaining a genuine sense of global community, founded on an explicit commitment to the importance of such things as identity, belonging, fairness, openness, respect, trust, honesty, humility, and looking at all those things within the context of human rights and social justice. We're interested in the power of connections, relationships, and conversations. We're interested in pushing the boundaries of our collective knowledge, our existing knowledge of restorative and relational theory and practice. And we're also genuinely interested in learning and sharing from the collective knowledge and wisdom we all have when we all come together in that spirit of openness. As somebody once said, knowledge used to be like gold. It was a very precious thing that was often kept hidden from others. Now, knowledge is more like milk. If you don't share it, it goes off. So we want to share our work with you. We need you to also help us to learn more about this work by sharing your ideas with us. We're not looking to create products or commodities that we bundle and package and then put in the shop window. The value, the value of the international learning community will be in the shared creation, ownership and deployment of collective and effective wisdom and practice. So in the room we have the founding partners of the international learning community. They're here, they're going to make a little bit of noise for you now. So please say hello to our friends from Hull. That wasn't bad, was it? Our friends from Leeds. That's better. Thanks, guys. Our friends from New Zealand. Hey. Our friends from Vermont. Australia. Now, this might get noisy. And our friends from Halifax. So, thank you. Finally from me, I'd ask you to think about this over the next two days. If we take this approach, if we explore the potential of human connections, relationships and conversations by trying to work consistently in a different way across different jurisdictions from around the globe, then just maybe, just maybe we could create a better way. Just maybe we could create something that results in real and sustainable change. Just maybe we could develop something uh, that we've tried to describe as a geography of hope, and probably at a time when we need hope the most. And if we could do that, if we could do that, just imagine how powerful that would be. Of course, there will undoubtedly be tensions in taking such an approach, in pushing the boundaries of what we know about restorative and relational theory and practice. But if we hold our nerve, if we support each other, we think we can get to a better place. But to do that, we need your help, we need your support, we need your wisdom. So thanks for listening. Enjoy the next two days. <laughs>